guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I feel like I should excuse myself, um, I wasn't going to film today and then I did, so I had like glasses makeup is what I call it, I've already repeated this story in another video, but I had glasses makeup on which is very minimal, then I couldn't wear my glasses because the light made reflections, so here we are, so I apologise if I don't look as glam. I kind of look glam normally, you know what I'm saying, we're here today with empties, I have my bags ready for recycling, so apologies if you hear any rustle rustling, let's go. I'll try and go in some sort of order but I feel like things are a bit all over the place. Um, the first thing that I have is shampoo, this is my favourite ride or die shampoo ever, it's the L'Oreal LV the Extraordinary Clay, it's for oily roots and dry ends which is me. Um, I recently bought tons of these because I thought they were being discontinued but it just appears the packaging has changed. So let's fingers crossed for that because I don't know what I'm going to be without it. We have a bubble bath, this is the Radox Muscle Soak, so normally this is the kind of mid-toned blue. Um, this was fine, the Muscle Soak is not my favourite scent, however I do like Radox, so I would repurchase, but just not this flavour. I have a deodorant, this is the Sure Advanced Protection Ultimate Fresh. I think I've said before, when it comes to deodorant, I am just do Sure or Nivea, um, that's my only con contingencies, so it was fine, and like I say, I do like that brand. Also in the shower, I used up the Radox Hope, Love, Joy, Peace and Pride, which was limited edition for Pride Month, and money went to the Rainbow Fund. Part of the reason why I got it, because I love charity work, and I love Gay Pride, so I went and uh, bought this one. I wasn't too happy with the scent, it was it was watermelon and lychee, but I would say it was more lychee. I guess what they were trying to do is a scent that was not, like, could be used by all genders. I mean, what scent can't really be used, but this was, I think this was the angle that they were going for, for using a very gender neutral scent, which it definitely was. Um, it just, like I say, it wasn't kind of what I was expecting, that sort of, just from the watermelon and lychee, there was just not much watermelon. But um, I do, again, like Radox uh, shower gels a lot. I have two sanctuary spa um, body scrubs. They have different packaging, so I think we've moved from the old to the new. The first one is the White Lily Damascus Rose body scrub. This is very smell, obviously, very light, much like a rose, um, and I did enjoy it. It's not the most dense scrub in the world, but it's definitely one, that obviously, that I've repurchased, so I do quite like it. The other one, I'm not sure what the scent was. This definitely wasn't the rose one. It doesn't actually say a scent. I don't think this is like their normal one. I got this in Boots. It was like three for two. So I just grabbed this as the, like, the free product in a way. Um, again, like I say, I do like it. It's not my favourite, but it's definitely up there on a, a, a liked. Highly recommend. No, recommend. Highly recommend was too much. I like it. We have a few Lush items. The first one is the Shooting Star Bath Bomb. This is the one that is blue uh, and then it has stars in it that are made, that which are bath oils. So it's a bath bomb and bath oil hybrid. Now if you know me, you know I can't use oils in the bath really because they make my hair greasy. So what I actually did was smash this bath bomb to smithereens and I would use tiny little bits of the oil, tiny little bits of the bath bomb um, together. I really love the Shooting Star smell and that's kind of why I do that. Uh, but if you're somebody that has dry skin, I imagine it would be really, really good and it wouldn't take you that long to use up. It's almost taken me a year to use up one of those. And then we have the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. This is the star on a stick that smells like Snow Fairy. It's been out for many years now. If you haven't noticed, my Lush spending tends to be now that I buy in the sale. Um, I've had a couple of, like experiences with, with Lush over the past few years um, and therefore I really just enjoy stocking up at Christmas and then making it last all year so that's what I will do again this year. Wax melts, uh, we have a, quite a few actually. The first one is from the brand Smelly Sense. Smelly Sense is a band a brand based in Essex which is where I live so I'm trying to shop local. I will link both of these down below because these are both independent companies. So what's great with Smelly Scents? Do I have any other Smelly Scents ones? No I don't actually. Um, so with Smelly Scents if you buy five you get one free and you get a sample. I like it a lot. Um, and this sample was one part lavender, one part marshmallow, which I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, but it was actually a really nice soft blend with not too strong marshmallow, not too strong lavender, um, so it worked really well. The others are all from Acoustico. Um, I've been shopping from Acoustico for about three years now, so I've kind of gone from, seen them gone from small indie brand to big. The only thing I will say now, which is not an issue really for them, just for me, 
I can't, I never am there at the right time for restocks and I do miss out on a lot of the ones that I want. For the Halloween collection this year I was actually there for both stocks and I could not get the scents that I wanted, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, so this is kind of why I'm trying new brands that I don't have to kind of fight over. But I would recommend them, but I'm just saying at the moment it's hard to get some of their like best sellers. So two of them are from the advent calendar they did last year. I know, I'm really up to date. So the first one is called Roasted Chestnuts. Now I didn't really know what to expect from a scent that said Roasted Chestnuts, but I did not expect this whatsoever. I cannot describe it to you other than I presume it smells like Roasted Chestnuts, but it smells really, really nice, really warm, really autumnal. Um, I really enjoyed it and it was a bit of a surprise one. We then have Christmas Cookie. I'm not a big fan of food scents when it comes to wax melts, but this is more of a subtle one and it was definitely very sugary and a bit lemony maybe where it is the other elements of the cookie. It didn't smell like cake too much um, and therefore I liked it. The one I have burning at the moment is Snugglebug and this is more of a clothing washing type scent, you know like those like, I don't know, like Lenore type scents. Um, yeah, it kind of smells like laundry detergent in a really good way. This was from my first ever order. This is Passion Pour, and I think this is one of their core uh, color colors. That's really now polish of me. One of their core scents. Um, yes, you may have noticed I do go towards getting these single use ones because I uh, to try out scents opposed to buying a big one without knowing kind of what it smells like. So Passion Pour is very very. It's kind of like a mixture of berries. It's very nice. Would I ever buy a big jar of this again no it's one of those ones that's nice but not my favorite would I repurchase yes but am I desperate for it no take what you will from that we have tons of makeup actually I was going I've been moving stuff around based off of like some building work that we've been doing in my house um, and some things are just like need to go they're so old so these first two are the Benny tint and lolly tint these are sample sizes from benefit I've easily had these for seven, six, seven years longer than Austin's been alive, so more than five years. So these are one of those like liquid blushes for the Benny tint that you can use on your lips or cheeks. I just don't grab for these. Um, out of that, out of these two, I have used this one Lolly tint a little bit more. This is more of like a highlight. I don't know. It's a bit more shiny, um, but yeah, just liquid blushes scare me, and therefore I haven't used them, and I don't need to keep them in all reality. A setting and priming. Um, setting priming sprays. The first one that we have is the uh, Barry M Hydro Flawless Fix um, Priming Water. I've used this a lot. It's got a couple of pumps left in it. It's got a really good spray on it and it's really refreshing. And like I say, I have repurchased this. I really recommend Barry M sprays. We then have Revolution the Hyaluronic Fix. Um, if you may have heard, I am uh, swaying away from Revolution a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't want, do I want to get into it? This video, this video is already really long. In a nutshell, I don't agree with how they copy so much from other brands. Um, I kind of get it that if you see like their mock-up of the Too Faced chocolate bar palette, you would go, oh, well, they're copying Too Faced. And we kind of understand that, which is still wrong, but I can kind of, it's, it doesn't bother me as much. As more recently, I've seen a few things about them copying from small independent brands not even like copying like a little bit like completely copying them and they don't have the exposure for people to know that that's not revolution's idea um so although i think all of the skincare and setting sprays and things that i've tried from them have been very nice and are at a good price point i don't know where i stand with them on that aspect of it um so therefore i'm kind of just using up what i've got and i'm trying to explore other brands rather than going with revolution if that makes sense. More items that are not finished but just I've had them for 700 years. This is a NARS duo of Orgasm and Hungry Heart. Hungry Heart is meant to be a highlighter but it's the most powdery thing ever so I only ever use Orgasm in this. The packaging's got a bit sticky over time so I don't need to keep it. And then we have the NYX um, Tango with bronzing powder. Um, I really like this. This is my first ever bronzer that I ever used. Um, it's a mixture of um, mattes and there's a couple of shiny ones in there. And as you can see, I kind of just swirled around and used that for bronzing. Um, as I've learned a bit more about using a bronzer, I don't use shimmery bronzers anymore. And again, definitely had this seven or eight years, so it needs to go. 
My first ever MAC item was this and it's time for it to go to uh, makeup heaven. This is the Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the wrong shade and it can't even see the shade name on it. I think it's NW20. Um, I got this when I was very first getting into makeup again, probably like 10 years ago, shamefully. Um, but this matches my skin tone perfectly, but it is no good for under the eye concealing. And therefore what I've used is not a lot because I am lucky and I don't really get spots that much so it's old and technically I guess for highlighting under the eyes it's the wrong colour I do have the correct shade too so why I was keeping the one that didn't match me I don't know and then we have the MAC Studio Fix Powder this is in the shade NC20 which is my shade with the powder you can use it just I have it on today just as a powder foundation which is what I do most of the time it's a great powder foundation if you're a new like a mum or someone on the go it gives you a nice coverage it's not too cakey not too powdery or you can use it to set your makeup if you want to be a bit more um a bit more coverage but um I love this this is my third or fourth one obsessed Let's do makeup quickly before we're here for too much longer. We have some more um, wipes. I'm trying to stray away from wipes and not use them anymore, so you probably won't see them anymore on my channel. But these are one of the biodegradable ones that Primark do, so if you're going to use wipes, please use biodegradable. These are the H2O Micellar Water ones. Was not impressed with these. These were very dry, considering that they said Micellar Water, so I would not repurchase those. We have some masks. The first one is a sheet mask. This is the replumping shot from Garnier. Um, I like this, however, I would say that there was almost too much hyaluronic acid for the mask. The mask was dripping, and I still felt like I had half of the potion left, so I did kind of keep it and rub it into my face for the next few days. So I just think the proportions on that aren't right, but it was a nice mask to use. And two like normal face masks. The first one we have is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I've used this many, many times. I really, really enjoy it. And then we have the Glam Glow Power Mud in Jewel Cleanse. Um, I always buy these Power Mud samples from Glam Glow. This will do three face masks for me. And I like to rotate around my face masks a lot. This one is more of their deep cleansing one. It's got kind of like an apple-y scent to it. Really like a, almost like a soft fruity melony scent. Um, again, like I say I really like it and I will continue to repurchase. I had a sample of the um, Tarte Sugar Rush Squeaky Clean Face Wash. This is how big it was. So I got one use out of it and it was nice but not enough to me to really know if I need it. Two moisturisers from Glam Glow. The first one is their Moisture Trip. Um, I wouldn't say this was anything special at all. Um, it was very light, um, didn't really feel like it did anything. So um, I imagine it's quite expensive and it, like I say, I just didn't feel the benefits of it. One product from them that I do really like though is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. So it's an illuminating moisturiser um, and I just wear this sometimes on days when I'm wearing no makeup just to give me a bit more of life to it but it's not super shiny or super metallic where it looks weird. It just kind of lightens up your skin and gives you a bit of a glow um, and I do have another one of these on the go at the moment. A product that I didn't use up and again why am I still holding on to this? This has definitely gone off now. Oh my goodness why have I still got this? This is the It's Potent, oh I don't even want to open that, that's so grim. Um, this is the It's Potent Benefit Eye Cream. Um, a lot of people really like this. This stung my eyes like no other. And for the fact my eyes are not very sensitive, um, I found it really hard to find eye creams that work for me. But from a lot of people that I spoke to about this, it just stings their eyes so bad. So I gave up on it a long time ago, but for some reason I held on to it. Two more items and we are done. This one is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I really, really like this one. It didn't lather up too nicely, which is a problem that I'm having with my current cleanser, which we will talk about when that is run up. Um, it was like I say, just a gel cleanser. I did pumps of it onto like a face halo or onto something just to foam it up a little bit. Tight, it didn't even really foam, it just lathered slightly. Um, it was very nice, smelt nice. Um, actually, this lasted me a really long time. It doesn't look that big. You know I'm a packaging person. The only thing is the pump was is really stiff. Um, but other than that, I would definitely repurchase. And we have the Lacura, which is Aldi's brand. Um, and this is their pink clay exfoliating face scrub. They say that you can use it as a mask, but I would not do this. Uh, I don't understand how the concept of that really. Um, I really like this. I love anything that is clay. It was a very nice amount of scrubby. What were the 
put bits in it. Do we know? Do we know? It can, they might can't have just been, oh, castor beads. Is that sugar then? Are we saying it's sugary scrub? I don't know. But anyway, it was a nice amount of scrub in the clay. Wasn't really sure what to expect of it, but I did like it. I just wish that like the, the Audi skincare was permanent because having to try and catch things as they're in the store for a couple of weeks is not the one. I will be repurchasing it when I find it. So another round of empties, like I say, I felt like I got through a, a nice amount of stuff, some good stuff to, and definitely things that I'll be repurchasing. Plus I probably knew, do need to do more makeup decluttering and sorting out because I definitely have more expired makeup. It's awful, I know. Let me know what some of your monthly favourites were when it comes to empties and I will see you soon. Bye.